Welcome to another episode of Business Beat with me, Odette. So today I'm going to be talking about entrepreneurship and building a brand in South Africa. Is it enough to be proudly South African or does your brand need a little something special, especially if you're playing in a very cluttered and difficult space? With me today is the founder of an amazing sportswear brand. Yes, you heard me, sportswear and it's a South African brand. Sammy, welcome to Business Beat. Thank you so much for having me. A little birdie told me that your hustle started when you were 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't in the sports apparel and sportswear kind of space. What happened from 14 to now? So at the age of 14, I find myself having to wait six months for a pair of shoes. Oh, and wow. um, my dad was the only one working at home. Uh, four kids and my mom was not working either. Yeah. So if you have to wait for anything that they need at school, you're gonna wait for a very long time. Right. So then I found a need to start my own business. At the time, I was not even thinking it's a business. I was looking for a way to fend for myself. And I started to sell ice cream on the street of Tembisa. And when that business started to be clustered by other players, meaning our young people, because yeah. they see what I'm doing. Of course, and then they're gonna follow, right? Correct, yes. Yeah and uh, I then started to sell chickens. I had offered options for, for my customers. You can have it you know, as it is, as a chicken, alive, then you cook it at home, you do it yourself, yeah. or we do the dude for you and yeah. uh, we skin it for you. So we've gone from ice creams to chicken to sneakers. Yes. Is it not a saturated space? Is it not like a really difficult space to break into? And is it not too expensive? It is expensive and um, at the same time, there's opportunities that are there, that are available. Right. And um, the situation of other brands, it's truly, truly, you know, mind-blowing, yeah. you know? But for me, what I looked at was why we don't have a, a sports brand that is from Africa to the world. We have over 20 brands that are from overseas that are coming to South Africa. Mm. Um, we consume for many, many years. We've been consuming those brands. Yeah. But why are we not creating our own sports brand? By saying why are we not creating our own sports brand? Yeah. Is it about being proudly South African? Mm -hmm. Is it being having a South African brand? Or is it about having an accessible, proudly South African, South African brand? For us, it, it has to be relatable more than anything, right. right? That's one. And what we've done, we've looked at what other brands are, are doing. For instance, our, our, our brand is called Kicks, right? Mm. Kicks, if you imagine the word Kicks, you automatically think it's a shoe. Mm. But actually, that's not how we see our Kicks. Our Kicks is motivational. You kick your shortcomings, you kick your low self-esteem, you kick right. your failures, and you get into work and you work it, right? That is what Kick stands for. We've looked at what the other brands are doing and as part of our strategy is that we want to take people in a journey, right? Mm -hmm. And we need to be separating being fit and being healthy, right? Because you can be healthy and be a big man, you can be a big girl, right? That's true. So we wanted to venture into a business of feel-good sports brand. I believe firmly that a brand is more than a logo. Yeah. a product or a service. Correct. That it is a story so that we can understand why it's so important to support the brand. Mm. Why we must buy the product. I asked earlier, is it enough to just be South African? I've always said to people, you have to support us not because we are South African. You have to support us because you believe in our brand yes. and there's an alignment into you spending your money. Yes. And most importantly, there's quality that's aligned to that. It's, it's a product that you can continuously use and you can see yourself growing into this product. But something you're proud to wear. And our brand, what we've done, we've positioned ourselves to compete internationally. And I truly believe that by 2025, our company will be prepared to start to set up offices outside of South Africa. And most important for me is that by 2025, we should be have created a thousand jobs. We started last year a campaign where we're creating a thousand jobs. A, uh, a year? Not a year, oh, but a over thousand, a period. Over right? a period, So right. it's a thousand jobs, job creation. And part of that is that 
the jobs not necessarily need to come from our company, but we have to be collective in creating these jobs. Oh, a wow. thousand jobs, that's quite a lot. And what I do, mm. I invite 10, pe 10 young people every year to come in and do an apprenticeship. The whole point of an apprenticeship is for them to learn as much as possible but they have to also create their own company within our space, right? So we're providing that safe net for them to make the mistakes that we did, right? To learn at the same time. By the time they leave the 12th year um, um, duration, then they can literally start to employ people, right? Hmm. Then we also attach those jobs as part of our 1,000 job That's job creation. That's incredible. Yes. So essentially what you're doing is you're kicking unemployment, you're kicking poverty, and yes. you're giving young people an opportunity because that's the problem mm. with entrepreneurship sometimes mm. is that people just need an opportunity and a space with like-minded people to give them the confidence that they need that their idea is possible but just maybe needs mm. a little bit of polishing and refinement yeah. you know and then what you're essentially doing is you're creating employers yeah. in the value chain so everyone who comes in leaves not just with skills leaves mm -hmm. with the business and the ability to employ others to pay correct for it. Wow. and that is that is the end goal for me and uh, there are two That's pillars wonderful. that I'm very very uh, passionate about yeah. it's creating employment as well as being a platform where employment can be created I think if every single one of us collectively tackle this with as you said 10 people those 10 people employ 10 people Mm. Those 10 people employ 10 more people, you mm. know, before you know it, it becomes thousands and thousands of people mm. and slowly we start chipping away at this unemployment rate. True. And we become tax paying citizens to help the government. It, it's like an ecosystem. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden the economy starts coming right and all of a sudden we start seeing poverty eradicated. Yeah. We start seeing less hungry kids. Correct. Mm. We, we have to make it very fashionable yes. to create jobs. Yeah. Uh, we opened our first pop-up store in uh, Alberton City yeah. where we created jobs, yeah. right? And it does not end there. We have to look at what COVID brought for us, mm -hmm. right? And part of what we said we want to do is to control our value chain. Mm -hmm. If we control at least 60% of our value chain, we make sure that we employ as many people as possible. So if I interpret what you're saying is absolutely being South African is not enough. Yeah. But what you're offering is buy South African for the South Africans mm. to build a better South Africa. That's it, yes. So, speaking about buying, yeah. where do we buy kicks? How do wow. we get our hands on a pair of kicks? So, we do have a store yeah. um, in Alberton City that right. sells our product. We also developing our website, which is www.kicksports.co.za. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy from our website, then you okay. deliver anywhere in South Africa. I think your story is amazing. I think your brand is fantastic. I think that everybody in South Africa ought to own a pair of kicks, not because they are fashionable, cool looking, and they are, and Thank you. quality, but because every pair of kicks is kicking poverty. That's it, yeah. And that for me is a brilliant, brilliant business model. Thank you so much, Sammy, for your time. Thank you so much. So everything of the best to you and your team. There you have it, folks. It's not enough to be South African selling a South African product. You need to have a story that resonates with the people whom you want to sell to. That way they buy into your story, they buy into the product, and they wear it proudly South African. Until next time.